Hi, my name is Jacob, I'm an engineer at Bitfinex and today in this video we'll be taking a look at how to get set up and started using the Honey Framework. So the Honey Framework is a complex set of tools that allows our users to get an edge over the markets by being able to create their own custom algo orders and also custom algo trading strategies. The problem this solves was a lot of our users wanted more complex order types integrated into our platform and rather than us constantly code that on the back end, we decided to provide a platform for our users to be able to completely script their own algo order types. So to get set up, simply head to honey.bitfinex.com, that's H-O-N-E-Y dot bitfinex.com and navigate down the page to find the download buttons for the operating system of your choice. We have Mac OS builds, we also have Windows builds, and we also have Linux builds. Alternatively, you can also head to our GitHub repo. Now, Honey Framework is a completely open source project, so if you head to our GitHub repo, you can also build the entire project from source, simply just cloning the repo, running npm install, and building the CSS and Electron binary. But in this video, we're actually gonna completely avoid this as the binary is already downloaded locally here. So once you've opened the application, you should be greeted with a password form. Now this password is just used to kind of encrypt your data locally. Any kind of trade history or locally cached trading data is gonna be encrypted using this password. So I'm just gonna set the basic one for this video. Once we are logged in, we're greeted with the trading terminal. You can maximize this screen here. So the trading terminal is kind of like your home place of order execution. The UI is completely customizable. I can add new order books, I can add new charts, I can remove trades, I can customize it how I want. And I can also see on the left hand side here, I have a bunch of different default atomic orders which are uh, natively built into bitfinex.com, such as limit orders, training stop, fill or kill. And then also we have some default algorithmic orders that are built in. MA crossover, accumulate, distribute, ping pong, iceberg, twap, and OCO. Now, I'm not gonna show off any of these in this video, they'll be in the next following video, um, but in this video, I'm gonna kind of just give you a basic demo and then also show how to import your API keys. So we have the trading terminal, we also have the market data page, which is also another customizable interface. We have the strategy editor, where users can, um, create their own trading strategies. And here's an example one that we have by default. Uh, they can also backtest these strategies and they can also execute on live. To, in order to get started with the API keys, um, simply go to click on a limit order and you should see that I have popped up with an error dialog saying, please submit API keys for Bitfinex. Once I click this button, I'll be given a dialog to add in API keys and my API secret. I'm not going to show the user journey on the bitfinex.com domain, but if you head to your bitfinex.com account and you click on your security section and go to generate new key, um, you'll then be able to create a new API key and API key secret. In order to run on the Bitfinex Honey framework, the only permissions that you really need are being able to create order. So make sure you have that enabled, please. So I'm going to post in this API key that I have, an API secret, and press submit. And you'll notice that the Honey Framework then retries connecting to the bitfinex.com domain. And I then am notified in the bottom right hand side here saying that both the WebSocket connection to bitfinex.com is active and also the Honey Framework connection is also active. It means that I am now able to begin submitting different algorithmic order types. And we will cover this in the next video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.